This is Michel Desjardins standing in front of the Petit Kodiak River. After a career in high level economics and government, Michel founded a consulting company and a non profit environmental advocacy group, became the chair of the Petit Kodiak River Keepers, and focused on helping Moncton transition to a post carbon world. This is Jim Meany proudly displaying a codfish he caught. He invented the Cancel Air Solar Heat Exchanger made from recycled pop cans and his company employs ex-Newfoundland fishermen in a new economy job. And this is a house in Hope All, Newfoundland that is largely heated with Jim's innovation. This is Pierre Pelliche demonstrating the almost lost art of soap making. Pierre and his wife Isabel run Olivier Soaps in Bouctouche, New Brunswick. They make hundreds of thousands of handmade organic soap products every year, made in Canada, and ensure that every stage of production has minimum environmental impact. This is the outside of Local Source. It's a small grocery store in Halifax run by Sean Gallagher. Inside, all the meats, fish, cheese, and produce you see comes from local farms. Sean has engaged local farmers and given them a new way to sell their goods and better connected them to the consumer. The Ecology Action Center's Sadie Beaton and Shannon Arnold teamed up with the owner of this boat, fisherman Orly Dixon, and three other North Shore fishermen in Nova Scotia to found the region's first community-supported fishery, in which members buy a share of the fishing operation and get weekly fish delivered. All the fish is caught using traditional, sustainable, hook and line methods and is the freshest fish you can eat, unless you're a whale. Here's Bo teaching Sadie how to fillet. Former St. John's Mayor Shani Duff teamed up with super volunteer John Perlin to create this fluvarium, where 15,000 visitors get an underwater view of Rennie's River in St. John's every year. The passion that has grown for rivers has led to the creation of a phenomenal network of walking trails around St. John's, which in many cases has become the mode of commute. Maritimers will recognize these bins. This is a typical Frenchies store. Edwin Terrio founded Frenchies in 1971. The used clothing stores kept hundreds of thousands of tons of perfectly good used clothing out of our landfills. Alan and Travis Berlin are renewable energy engineers who founded Green Island Getaways on PEI, a vacation spot consisting of small but luxurious off-the-grid cabins where people can realize and learn about carbon-free living and comfort on a beautiful natural setting. David Taylor is largely responsible for making UPEI one of the most sustainable campuses in Canada. He tackled all the big energy wasters and is now changing the food supply. And he has engaged students, staff, and faculty every step of the way. These are just a few of the 35 eco-innovators featured in my new book, Eco-Innovators, Sustainability in Atlantic Canada, published by Nimbus. It's a collection of true stories about entrepreneurs and educators, activists and agitators, farmers and fishers, and how they've all made major contributions in their fields of interest and inspired others to make change. This is the small burgeoning underbelly green economy. When we use terms like sustainable prosperity or green jobs, these are the people we need to remember. Eco Innovators is available in bookstores and green-minded retailers across Atlantic Canada.